if you decide to get off here, you can get the Texas Giant Chaparral and Tima cars. Yosemite Sam's River Run and Jordan Boots Club. You can stay on when we have the way to the Boot Town Station here in Houston to the Now please, make a seat in and we'll just hear one short whistle from the engineer. Hold on. Wait a second. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, once we get the train to the stop, we go to the right to the back right. Wait, 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 because if you don't want them, neither do we. Keep your hands inside the train at all times. Don't be reaching out and whacking at the bushes. You never know when one of those bushes will decide to whack you back. And I really don't want to see anybody on this here train getting bushwhacked. Oh, really. A long time ago, we had an English teacher on this train. She stuck her hand out. She left it out just a little bit too long. She brought it back a little bit too short. And now she's teaching shorthand. about as good as we're going to get around right, here, folks. folks, welcome aboard the 6 Texas Railroad. Texas Railroad. 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 Railroad.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Catch GP7, level 2199, having six cars on the train for today's run. We will shortly be leaving three miles north, I believe, to the other side where the DGNO owns the other side of the tracks. Though the Grand Bowman Railroad cannot go across those tracks, so they stopped three miles out and returned back. This is a great experience to be on. However, remember, the way the train is positioned, it's not going to fall off. Please enjoy and wait for radio communications to have the train depart.
Are you sure? <laughs> In this video, I decided to get on the next train to actually ride in the can of Tornoy 99 throughout the entire North Forest Express trip through the family through the Pittsburgh. And as you probably already heard, I got to roll me for the entire way with the crew's permission to also allow me on board. They allow me to roll all the way down, all the way back. And as you can hear, when we get to the next step crossings, which is the point of crossing now, the great by majority has access to this direction. I am glad you got me driving and looking in the mirror. That's been good practice. I am glad you the mirror almost all the way in front of the entire trip. So let's enjoy this video. Yeah, that's true. And if the wind blowing on you in your face when you pull that other one out, I know it's going front and back. Not the other one. Okay. It all boils down and you got to be smarter. Smarter than the wind. I know they didn't have wind if they went up and down or sideways there. Oh, 
crossing over. That's a good idea, a whole lot easier. We're about to go over there. There's a little water in his pocket. You can get that little water out when they're running. That other way, if it were hot, you had to crack that cap and waste till all the pressure got of it, or it would blow out your face. They put a special cap on mine where I can pop up yeah. that little red thing and it bleeds it off. But those are bad about getting weak and losing the pressure. Wow. In this last clip of the Great by Mid Railroad that I decided to add to today's video, you will hear a trucker blowing their horn twice. And you will also hear the radio communications of the Railroad as the train departs with um, leaving Great by Depot, of course. It will have the regular crossing signal, the one the two blasts, one short and then one long after. But the engineer saw me like he did in the first video that I showed. And he already saw me with the sign and he decided to do something very special for me. It's called shaving a haircut two bits. Now that is a really cool maneuver with engineers and railroad engineers of any kind, Union Pacific, Southern Pacific, Amtrak. And this engineer decided to do something very special for my video and made me very happy before I left that day. And you will hear after radio communication calls that the engineer blows a shaving haircut right after the last long horn that you hear before the crossing. Let's listen and watch and enjoy this last video of the Great Mountain Ranch Railroad in this entire video. Eyeball 901. Eyeball 901. Watch it, 
they had that I was out of here, though, there were two trying to hunt. Because it was a busy, busy day. When it's Christmas, so it's New Year's, everybody has to have two trains. So, let's enjoy the chores of some pattern. Maybe we're doing a full wedding version to be sexual. If you don't have a season dining pass, this is a for more information about how you can add it to your season pass today. This is a season pass, you don't miss out on that thrill and it's a season pass. This is a season pass, and it's a season pass. This is a season pass, and it's a season pass. This is a season pass, and it's a season pass. This is a season pass, and it's a season pass. This is a season pass, and it's a season pass. And once again, Lewis Smith Bonner from Hearst, the Sandra Teddy from Arlington, and Kevin Krause. In the last video is Six Flags in Texas and Railroad, Charles Jefferson Patton, going again over the head or under the bridge, doing the sand down, which you can barely see from the camera. But it was basically heading to the shed for the day. Well, not for the entire day. It was just going there to get cleaned up and get ready for the next one. Let's enjoy this video. In the last video of today's videos of the hat for so much for watching and I will have more videos coming up to my channel soon. Bye.